good morning YouTube and welcome to another episode of Crafty Catch Up and I've just got back from purchasing a second hand little doll's house. Um, I saw these wooden doll's houses, I'll put a picture up there, on Ikea for £35 and then I went onto Facebook Marketplace and someone was selling one with a bit of doll's furniture for 25 so I went round there and I've just picked it up. So I'll just turn you around and show you. Right, so here it is. Um, and that's how it came with the furniture. So if you look in the kitchen, we've got a um, wooden fridge. They're all wooden. Uh, they're a bit more modern than I wanted to have. Um, I don't think the door actually opens on this. But we've got a little fridge. We've got a cooker and um, microwave. And there's some sort of uh, sink, dresser and cook, uh, cooker. Oh no, this was this must be a washing machine. Yeah, a dishwasher and microwave. Um, then we've got um, dining table and chairs. And then in this side, we've got um, a sofa and a little coffee table and a little lamp. And then upstairs, we've got two beds, uh, two dressing tables. And I think that's a lamp. Yeah, that's a lamp. And it came with two little dolls. And then we got the bathroom. So uh, the plan is um, to make some little mice and um, make it their little house and also to try and make it a bit more vintage. So I'm thinking of maybe some sort of flowery bed covers, maybe stick some lace on here. Um, also, I was thinking about putting another floor here just across this bit and moving the bathroom up there so I can move that over there and have like two bedrooms. Um, yeah, so work in progress, but uh, I'm hoping to sort of decorate it up and maybe swap some of the furniture out if it's too modern and make it a little home for some mice that I'm going to make and make clothes for. So uh, that is the plan. So. Uh, Next time I come back, I might have done something to it. Right, as you can see, I've put the shelf in. So it's up there and I've moved um, one of the little beds up the top there. So that's given more room there. So uh, yeah, I'm pleased with that. It looks good with the shelf. Gives it an extra little room. So yeah, that went well, work in progress. It's Wednesday the 8th of February and it was minus four last night so we're having another cold spell so um, I'm feeling it inside at the moment my hands are cold I think it's about not quite eight o'clock in the morning so uh, I just thought I'd come on and show you what I've done so far with the uh, the rabbit I was knitting so I was determined to finish it in the, even though I absolutely hated using this yarn because um, you could just can't see um, where you've knitted. So if you drop a stitch, you're really in trouble. Um, if I knitted another one, I'd do it in just normal DK. I wouldn't do it in this fluffy stuff um, because uh, it's, it's just a pain. But I had some left over from a project I made for one of the little ones, a cardigan or something, so I wanted to use it up. Um, yes, yeah, so this is, um, so I've finished knitting it completely. I'm just sewing it together at the moment. So this is the body um, and this hole here is the top of the body. So the head will go on there and the legs. And then I've got a little bit to go for its tail. And then um, this is the head that go on like that. And then I've got a couple of ears and 
uh, some arms to go on. So, um, so it's nearly there. I must admit, as I, I said to myself, I've got to finish knitting it before I start on my next project. And um, I got this far. And then I thought, well, I have finished knitting it. I haven't put it together yet, but I've finished knitting it. So I'm afraid I got tempted and started on my other project, which I'm really enjoying. But I will be coming back to the bunny and um, I've got to make her a dress. But it isn't a so-called Easter bunny, so I've got a while. Right, so I'll uh, show you the uh, project I'm really enjoying doing at the moment. Oh, it's like, oh, I forgot to sugar it. Oh, gutted. I'll have to sort that out before I drink any more. Right, so this is the project I'm really enjoying. So as you can see, it's a lovely chunky cardigan and I will obviously want to get it finished while the weather's cold. So um, I've done the biggest size, um, which is a 42 inch chest, because I thought um, I want it nice and cozy. Um, and it says use super chunky wool. Now, um, I did go on the internet and look for the yarn wool that they said um, but it's timeless King Cole timeless but I couldn't find um, many colors and the postage was ridiculous you know you're paying like two pound forty postage for a ball of wool which they're charging three pounds something and you need ten balls so um, I then went into Hobbycraft because I had some vouchers from the kids and I was going to get some wool there but their wool was all um three pound fifty a ball or three pound forty a ball so i then went into q and d and i found this um robin wool or yarn super chunky 100 grams they did this color and um i think it was a uh, white and um and a really sort of purpley mauve which i didn't like it wasn't really a burgundy it was it was quite a yucky color really so I picked this one which is like a silvery blue so um, and that was one pound 85 a ball so ten balls was 18 pounds and I thought that was reasonable um, and we'll see how it goes I've so far used four balls and what I've done is I've done the back and I've done this over a couple of days so that's the back so um, it's pretty simple pattern you can do it in front of the telly because once you get past the ribbon you there's no increase it's just some I think uh, 86 rows um, of stocking stitch so um, but it's really chunky you can see and uh, it feels it's gonna be lovely and warm so and then i've done part of the left side and this is quite clever because the uh, bit of ribbon up the side of the pattern that goes up and round here and down here on the sides you do it so you don't have to then sew it sometimes you um, pick up stitches and you add it on or you have to knit it and sew it on but this is all incorporated in the actual design of the pattern you just got to remember when you get to the end um, to look at what you've got to do, whether you've got to change from knit to purl just for the last six stitches or not. So, um, yes, I'm chuffed with that. looks lovely. And that's coming on really well, so <laughs> I'm whizzing along. Um, I must admit, it's usually sleeves that... Um, you, you think when you get to sleeves, oh, you're nearly the whole home run. But uh, there's quite a lot of knitting in sleeves because they're usually quite wide. So I'm hoping I'll have enough yarn or wool uh, because um, I've used, I'm on the fourth ball now and I've got that much left of the fourth one. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I might have to go and get another ball of wool. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying that and uh, it's coming up lovely and chunky. And these knitting needles, you can actually get quite a good speed up on them. I thought, I, I didn't think you would, but I'm quite in the swing of it now. Um, 
yeah and it's lovely the way it lays on your lap while you're knitting it keeps you warm so um, yes I'm pleased with that and it's a nice easy pattern so uh, yeah so I'm going to finish that and um, then um, oh I've got the um, dolls house set up and um, I was watching Claire who makes things and she recommended this uh, miniature mouse family pattern from uh, Little Arkington um, so I I got that off um, Etsy and uh, I'm going to see if I can make some mouse people to go in the Wendy house um, and of course I need to um, get on and do um, Sydney's clothes now that I've finished him I need to do his um, bathing suit and his long johns so uh, I'll get on there at the moment I don't know if you can see he's sitting up there with Luna so, uh, yeah so I'll be getting that done but um, yes as I say it's pretty cold outside so I'm going to finish up now and uh, hopefully next time I see you I will have done Sydney's outfit and you never know, I might even have put the rabbit together and finished my cardigan. That would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.